time for sand. Let's get started. So here we are again. This time, just a smaller pile. Three yards, or no, sorry, three tons of sand. This is a uh, beach type sand. It's very fine sand here. Um, this is very soft sand. It is screened to two millimeters, I think. This is a washed beach type sand. The lawn is ready. I have dethatched, well, I scarfied it. Did the aeration yesterday, removed all the cores, and you can see I've got some holes there, and the sand is going to go into those holes and that is going to help with drainage um, when I water. The sand is also going to help me level out some spots in the yard so it will make it a little easier to mow. So this corner, for example, needs to come up a little higher. All along this side needs to come up a little higher. The corner that I brought up in the spring needs to come up a little more. And then there's just a couple of low spots over here. There's a sprinkler head in here, so it's kind of low here. And then this ditch here, this is where the main water line was dug out for the sprinklers. And so it's got kind of a little dip as well. So just things like that, bringing that up as much as I can. And then the grass will grow through. Got the leveling rake, courtesy of Pest and Lawn Ginger coming in with the assist again. Thank you to him. And for now, it's just shoveling, loading up that gorilla cart again. I'm gonna go make some piles and spread them out and uh, fill it in. So one of the sucky parts about doing this is you've got to wait for the sand to dry out before you can actually really kind of work with it and spread it in. And so that's kind of what I've been trying to do as I go. I dump the pile and then I kind of rake it out so it can dry a little bit. So as you can see, the, the sand that's more white compared to the dark sand over there is the drier sand here. So I'm going to start raking it. Still got a couple of spots here yet to do, and then a little bit over here by the tree. But I think I got a little bit too much sand today. 2,000 square feet, and I ordered three tons. So, probably could have gotten away with two tons, so maybe one ton per thousand in the future. That's where I'm at right now, and it's just off to letting this dry and raking it up. So, I want to tell you a secret really quick. It is... 9.20 p.m. and I'm out here massaging sand into my lawn. And the only reason that I'm doing it is because my sweet wife was out here doing it while I was trying to get the kids to bed. And I was like, no you don't. Don't you dare. So she's putting the kids to bed right now and I'm out here working and I had some thoughts. The first thought is I'm out here working and having success because the sand is dried and I'm able to work with it a lot better. It is 72 degrees out here right now. And when I was out here earlier today, it was 90. I think we hit 90 today. And the sun was just blazing on me and I thought I was gonna die. I thought I was gonna have a heat stroke. But I will say, if you can, if you have time and you have enough light, you can come out here and work on your lawn in the dark. It's nice and cool and you can get stuff done. So just a couple of thoughts there, a couple of uh, tips, um, things that I've learned. Also listen to your wife. All right, next day. And as you can see, not bad for in the dark. Not bad at all. Um, obviously, we've got some low spots that I'm working on here. I don't know if those will come back because they're pretty, pretty well buried, but 
I'm kind of curious just to see. Um, that was a major low spot right there that I wanted to get fixed. And then the other one was over here. But I think I could do better, honestly, in this one here. It still looks like it's a little dippy. Overall, I think it's pretty good. Uh, it is a little damp this morning, so I have to wait for this to dry. But in the meantime, I've got a mess to clean up. And you're probably wondering why I have multiple piles going on here. <laughs> um, I got a little too much sand on the lawn. And so I ended up having to push or scrape some of it off. And this was the excess sand. And then a little bit here too, this little pile is the excess sand that I pulled off. If you bury it too deep and smother it, it's not gonna grow through, it's not gonna grow up. While I wait for this to dry out, I'm gonna remove the, the rest of the sand, I'm gonna get it in the gorilla cart, and then I'm gonna take it in the back and store it under my trampoline. That's the only place that I have for it right now. This will be plenty of sand to do this again next year, next fall. So I want to order sand next fall, which is cool. So there's a pro tip for you. Pro tip. Uh, if you have a place to store excess sand, maybe you have a delivery fee on charge store. Like for me, the sand was like $6.30 a ton, but it was $120 just to deliver it. So if you can order extra to kind of save on the delivery costs for future years and you have a place to store it, go for it. That's the plan today, just kind of cleaning up their sand everywhere the garage is a disaster there's sand everywhere and we just got to get cleaned up he said that he wanted to borrow that their gorilla cart and i said you can have it you can borrow it but you got to help me move the sand got it right so he's going to help me move the sand and then he can borrow the gorilla cart let's do this clean for the most part it's better than it was anyway but yeah the, the sand out here is still drying out you can see the dark spots where the moisture is coming out of those patches there and that's a pretty good indicator of whether or not it's drying um, but like I said before I can't do anything further until it's dry then I'll come back here with the level lawn rake and go over it again and just kind of work it in as much as I can. And that's really it. Other than that, it's just gonna be watering it and getting that grass to grow back through. And that's that's all there is to it. It's, it's a lot of work, it's not an easy task. Um, those of you that watch these sand videos and think to yourself, oh, I could do that, it's pretty easy, that's not too bad. It's a lot more than you think it is. So just keep that in mind if this is something that you're thinking about doing. Um, it, it is an emotional roller coaster, so you've been warned. But that's gonna go ahead and really wrap things up for me now. It's, it's just working it in and, and watering it and waiting for it to grow back. So it'll take a couple weeks probably, um, two, three weeks or so before I'm mowing again. But can't wait, it's always better after this is done. And hopefully some of these areas will be a little bit better. Um, over time, you know, as I continue doing this, it's only gonna get better and better, so. Look forward to that. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.